But with that wonkiness out of the way, hello everybody, and welcome to more Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. I did finally, like, reset the console and the game and everything just on the offhand chance that things decide to go blur. Because again, I have no idea why everything the way it was the way it was last time we played. So hopefully, diddly d things will be good. But today, we will be going after all of those potential assassins that we can recruit. So, as well as like going after the glyphs here or there and like using a guide to like tell me where specifically they are on the buildings because I am not going to look for them on huge buildings like the Colosseo anymore. Just no. I have had it with looking for the glyphs all over the place. The glyphs can actually function and be good. Because, I don't know, it's just, they they place them on big buildings. You have to look for them with the eagle vision. I don't like it. It's just a little weird to me. I preferred it in Assassin's Creed 2, and I don't know why they, like, decided to mangle it in this one. Why? Because <laughs> you could see them in... Assassin's Creed 2, whenever you wanted, they just existed. But in Brotherhood, they can only be seen in Eagle Vision. So, and I, I, that's a downgrade. So it's like, why would you do it? Why would you do it? It just doesn't make much sense to ma. To me. To diddly day da. But yes. We will go forth. Probably just grab them about. Check out what the pigeon coops are about. I think we could, like, send our assassins on missions, I suppose. And I know that there is one... Glyph uh, around here. I will find more specifications later. And uh, I'll just, like, glance about the little guide. Like, ah, there's one here. And if it is in an like, like, an area that we've like already been to, as we go about doing things, we'll drop on by and find it properly, because I am done being nice about it, uh, Glyphsky. Let's see. Yeah, because there's one up there. We already got that one. And there's just ones all about. So we'll probably, and there's actually not that many in here, it seems. But, uh, granted, the IGN guide is a little shit, because instead of just having one big map of, like, the normal map and being like, here's where they all are, it's kind of an incomplete map, which just makes me ask, why? Why is it ever, it's just chunks of map, which makes you go, I wonder where this is in relation to everything else. So yeah, I think we already got that one. There's one at the Vaticano district, and we'll have to discern where everything else is. Granted, I could just go to the individual entries and be like, okay, what's the name of the thing? And then go to my data bank, because the database technically tells you where they are, but like not enough to make it like super worth it. And there was a exclamation point in my inventory. I have a new outfit. Do I have a new outfit? Or is it just, hey, you have all Tyre robes. And you can see your bank in the inventory. That is nice to know. All right, well, let's go save a person. Just save a bunch of people. Hey, check out the pigeon coops. Uh, I think that we already saved this one. Like, uh, unless I... Uh, no, we already saved this one. That's odd. 
Yeah, we already saved this guy. I clicked my counter button, you jerk. And hopefully we won't run into the annoyance of countering a guard. Only for the guard to then go... Oh. I wonder if I can do that. I, uh, I wanted to throw him into the, uh, the well. You are blocking him from going into the well. You are a terrible. I shall shoot you instead. He is invincible. He'll make very good assassin material. The liberation of Roma has begun. Grazie. Mille so more than likely, amigo. we can't actually well. save and for the right each reasons, of the civilian markers. We just can, like, uh, we can just save a certain amount before they, well, before all the bodies disappear, apparently. But probably we can only save a certain amount of civilians before they become, like, oh, you've maxed out your assassin quota. Congratulations for coming to me. Now I don't have to kill you. Really, going after the pickpockets is more for the items you get. Because items are slightly rare. I don't understand the fall damage in this game. Sometimes the fall damage feels like it doesn't exist. I have a Mentena at and other times, fall damage is like, meh. And now it's just like, why exclamation points on those? I don't get you. Exclamation points on everything. You are odd, game. Is it because I restarted the game? But let's see what we can do. With these pigeon coops. You just recruited a new potential assassin. Saviaro Celereno has been added to your Assassin's Guild. Assassin Signal awarded. You have been awarded new Assassin Signal. A new signal is awarded for the first, fourth, and sixth recruit added to the Assassin's Guild. Signals are subtracted when recruits die or are sent away on contracts. You just recruited another one, and another one, and another one. New awarded. So I can upgrade them. Hmm, but they probably need to, like, actually level up. Very interesting. We actually need to... Let's see. Contracts. In Florence. Ah, so this is where that came from. In Venice. Assassinate a politician! Apparently it's super easy compared to deliver a confession? Delivering a confession is more difficult than killing a politician? So, odds of success, 100%. You go and do it, man. Find a mole, very difficult. Vienna. Steal a relic. Frame an enemy spy. You go out there and you do it. Assault a landlord. Moscow. Go to Moscow. Yeah. Oh, I should have looked and see what other things. Because there's a destroy gunpowder. All right, sure. Well, now we have an extra reason to recruit a huge shit ton of assassins. <laughs> Mary does not exist in this universe. I want the truth now, he tried to attack his friend. Goodbye. Once I get my dude, I'm going to uh, recoup some of my losses. Get some medicine, get some bullets, hopefully, because if I talk to you, you magically disappear all the bodies. 
To which I have to say, considering my history with dead bodies in Assassin's Creed games, like, it, I, I talked about it when I played the first Assassin's Creed game, in which the bodies caused me to lose a mission because they wouldn't despawn, causing enemies to, like, uh, constantly aggro on a specific assassination mission. So I guess them disappearing is a nice feature, even though the bodies serve a purpose now. Upon you, Lord. you have saved this humble soul. Allow me to follow you. Although I do find it kind of funny that I recruit these people, they immediately leave their lives to, like, go on a wacky adventures to Moscow. All right, now we're going to find our first glyph for this stream. It is up here. And it is specifically... Why are all your maps shit, IGN? It is supposedly... Right... Okay, I'm just gonna get rid of that. It is supposedly there. So yeah, that means that we have to go back into the Hell Zone. But hey, I don't mind it too much. Going into the Hell Zone for glyph purposes. I'm saving my money because I don't care about throwing knives in this game. I have the beauty of the crossbow. So I don't need to worry. So we're going to invade the Castellanano, or whatever. And I assume we can go in there whenever, which is actually kind of neat. It's actually kind of neat that you can just go in here whenever. And not just part of the mission. And probably just the missions like just make it a little bit easier like it might open up the interior of this place but otherwise you can actually like adventure around all right that was me fucking up no fault on the game there me was just going on autopilot and i failed and luckily we don't need to worry about gun too much instead we're going to be crossbow gaming did it Crossbow gaming. I also like the implicate you are in the fountain, that is illegal. But I do like the implication that my assassins are constantly around me. Like, just eternally around me. So technically, they are better assassins than me because they are always around me and do not get found until I call. I forget how to do it. I think we did. Yeah. Sometimes it's a little bit odd to tell what can and cannot be climbed in this game. There you are. Hmm. At least it's easy to get. Huzzah! Glyph time! Glyph time. It's the glyph time. What mysteries shall be discovered today? What wonders? Glyph time. It's the glyph time. The glyphy, glyphy, glyph, glyph, glyph. Cluster six. Loading. Loading. Ninety percent of input missing. Outputs confused. Shut down. Shut down. Shut down. Shut down. Active. Try. That's creepy. Loading. I thought you didn't want to load. I thought you wanted to crash. Bandicoot. Important men befriended Russia as the Iron Curtain was blown apart, but the most influential comrades stayed out of the spotlight. I don't think that that's... Uh... 
Considering, like, current events, this just feels ever so slightly awkward. And yeah, sure, I could read all of this. Lots of music being shown about. Stayed out of the spotlight. So I obviously stayed out of the spotlight. Most influential comrade. Again, all the music is very interested. It's kind of... Oh, that's... Are they saying that the Templars were the... Were the comrades? Okay. 34 over 9... Makes 5 unfound. Let's see... 34 across from, let's see. Zero to, zero to nine to 13 to something to 22. So it's between 13 and 22. Eighteen? I will go along with it for now. 20 over four. 20 does not exist. That implies that then you are 20. That implies that you are 20. Maybe that is what they wanted. All right, so that blank goes over two. All right, and now he wants six. Six is 34, my favorite rule. 34, all right, 13 over seven. For one is blank. <coughs> All right. Uh, we'll hold that off for now. 33 over two. Well, that answers what that is. You're 33. Wait. Ah, uh, we'll roll with it. All right. 33 over two, presumably. Uh, with eight. Eight then becomes 13. And here I thought I got it right. It says correct coordinates. Ah! All right. 34 over 9. 5. It's blank. Let's move on to 4. Oh, with uh, one, 20 over 4. 20 is also missing. So we move on. Like, again, that's what I think. It wants 20. 20 does not exist. Unless you are 20. It would break it would break the sequence because it's zero to nine to thirteen to something to twenty-two to twenty-seven. Maybe I should actually like quantify the jumps. Alright, zero to nine, so that's a plus nine. Nine to thirteen, that's a plus four. We don't know. We don't know to 22. 22 to 27, that is a 5. 27 to something, we don't know. 34 to 42, so 34 to 40 would be 6, so that's an 8. And then there is no jump. I don't really see the ability to track all that much. All right, so let's, like... Let's play devil's advocate and see what happens when we do that. All right, six would then become 24. Let's just play devil's advocate because we tried to, to do it normally and didn't get anywhere. All right, 13 over seven. For one to be something that we don't know. Uh -huh. It could be...
could be anything. So let's move on to 33 over 2. Except 33 doesn't exist. So let's play about 34. Why not? Does not like. Alright, so... 20 over 4. 20 does not exist. So 20 and 33 seem to be the magic thingies. Alright. So if we did that... Wait, no, that's... What if we did that? Presume that is 20. So 13 to 20 would be 8. No, that would be 7. And then... What if that... No, it can't be. The, these puzzles always whack my brain. But, yeah. 20 to that, let us assume that then... 6 is 27. If we go by the logic this presents. 13 over 7 makes 1 presumably 33 because that blank over 2 would fit and maybe even fit the pattern I guess maybe alright and 8 would be 13 I got it. So I guess I did something wrong before. Maybe I put a wrong number when I thought it was the right number. But we got it now. All right. Now let's see how Mr. Yeltsin was, uh, who drank himself to death, uh, was a Templar, I guess. I am writing this letter to encourage you to act. One rarely finds oneself in such opportune position. Gorbachev does not have our interests at heart. He is moving far too slowly to privatize, and my deep fear is that he has no intention of doing so at all. I understand that you have expressed similar concerns. What with, uh, with that in mind, here's a proposal to remedy the situation. Several of my top advisors at the company maintain a monetary connection with the communist old guard. They tell me that a riot might easily be incited while Gorbachev is away. If you were to repel an attempt to seize Parliament in front of the media, it could very well tip the scales of power in your favor. Telephone me at number 10 and we shall talk further. Loading. Assassin's Creed might as well be all- oops, all conspiracies. Flat line, okay? So we need super tall. And now we need less. Okay, we just got it. Okay. Yay. Alpha kind of Bank. messing about. I'm phoning on behalf of British Petroleum. Yes, we were told you would be calling. As you know, we are very interested in acquiring Sidanko Oil. And as you know, oil. We will require a Anything can be bought bank. with the right oil. Were you surprised at the low price of the deal? Somewhat. You know we have the peasants paying for it. The government gave us their tax money to buy all the companies. We would like to fly out there as soon as possible to discuss terms. Thursday works. Done. Thank you for your time. Gosvidanya. We didn't need to hear that. Okay, maybe we get a bit extra now. Because that first part was a nothing burger. We want to buy the oil! Pick up! That's Jergo Industries. I am phoning on behalf of BP. We fly to Russia next week to secure the deal. Our new capitalist converts there behaved exactly as expected. I'll Our let new them know. capitalist converts. Thank you. Loading. Loading. All right, what chess move must we make today? All right, she didn't take it. Although his pierce, uh, his piece represents a savior, his self-serving actions reveal him as a counterfeit. Uh, 
something has to move to F. Right? Something has to move F. Or do we move... It's obviously something to do with F. Maybe you? Alright. Something to do with F, and I'm just like, what can move F? What can go to the F? Call him! And just so much... 1999, Yeltsin ensures his protege, a bastard boy, follows his lead. Wow, Warranty I did that first try. Lifted. And now we have four more to do. Guess it makes sense. All right, let's just... No, not that. No, not that. Database. I want database! I want the database! I was already there, but I'm a fool. All right. Uh, Kazarma, Diaval, and Aventino. So I already know where three of them are. Hilarious. Aqueducto Claudia. <laughs> Mark it. Mark it on the map, please. told it to mark it, but I don't know where it is. Ah, over here. Alrighty. And then since these don't really seem to matter too much, I will just, uh, make my way there on foot while saving whatever citizenry I come across. While we try to finish off these damn glyphs. Oh no. I didn't mean to jump to that one. I am the fool. But at least... You'd think that the moment you saw somebody that isn't in uniform, you would immediately go intruder, bang, bang, bang. make it to the mainland so we have like better opportunity to run into people to save maybe we'll send our new guy out on a simple mission just to get him leveling up choo, choo. Go there, send out the one guy we got on a mission. Yeah, new recruit added, I know. Anything in Florence? Just things that are dangerous. Like, how dangerous would it be to send you? It would be a 51%. If we sent two people, we could do it. Frame a spy already underway. Steal food. Destructive criticism is apparently a super difficulty. Deliver a warning to London. All right, start that mission, my boy. Get that experience. Get that bread. But yeah, if we just run across... Just dudes... I'm hiding. This guy's dumb. Now he dies. Now I shall pick his pockets for lunch money. Actually, what I should probably do... Eh, it doesn't really matter. My brain was like, maybe what I should do was see, like, which glyph is technically closer. If we kind of go down and then directly up. Maybe I should make my, like, map mini map marker not move with me, because if 
that's north. I need to go south. Right, I need to go south to get to citizen in danger. We'll save the citizen. Oh, detain a noble, not a kill a noble. I guess they're on the other side. You immediately did more damage to me than these guys would. You almost killed me, but I shall take you. The liberation of Roma has begun. They couldn't have I made him do you. two takes. It would be an honor to fight alongside you, Signore. So that uh, there could be some variation between all the saving that we do. All right, now we will kind of go north and towards our <coughs> the thing that we want. Because there will be another savior. Well, there will be another person of which to do saving for. I probably should have looted the bodies. Oh well. Hey, you don't own this place. Relax. What does that even mean? You don't own this place. Relax. It happened again. You attacked me. Someone not involved. Don't worry, none of these guys are alive to throw into your stall anymore. You idiot, you fool, you tool, you madman. Leave me alone, I swear. I have nothing to the liberation of Roma has begun. The liberation of Roma has begun. I owe you my life. I am a marked man now. I guess that you, makes sense. You fight Since they fought against the guards in one way or you. another, they're now like, well, fuck it. That's it! Orale, friendly! Please! Non uccidete me! And the guards don't care that I hijacked a man's horse. And then I guess we'll just go south and, like, hit a bunch that way. All right? Head south. Asshole. Kind of head in that direction and south at the same time. And we will hopefully run into them eventually. And then if we run into a pigeon coop, we will send people out on missions. And might as well prepare my shit and stuff. I need to get to the blacksmiths. So yeah, I think resetting the game kind of made it go mad. Ever so slightly. Complete the shop quest. Bone Dagger of Romulus. That's cheap, why not? Sure thing, bub. So yeah, resetting the game made it kind of lose its mind a little bit. There's a pigeon coop up here, of which we shall say hello. I'll send more people out on missions and spend skill points and stuff. Additional skill points are now available. So much! Ah. Uh, oh, so if I want them to do like... Uh, All right. I think their survivability is a little important to me. And plus, I'm not really going to be uh, 
bringing them on to too much. Ah, and then uh, you can only have so many assassins. Got you. Let's see. He has a 90% chance, but if we sent two these two together, they can do it. Let's see. 7%. Alright, you guys are not ready for that. What about if we sent... And eh, nah. 40%. It's... I only accept 50%. Let's start a riot. Let's see. 41%. And eh, I don't like the risk. Ah, steal food. 86. Louis the Twelfth, now quarrels of Ferdinand the First over ownership of Naples. Interesting. Oh, that guy's already on there. Hmm. We're just seeing if there's anything. Assault a beggar? <laughs> Do not let his looks fool you. He actively sells information gained on the streets that is paid well by the Templars. I guess, sure, but still, the title makes it sound very bad. The sound, the name just makes it sound very bad. And it's just kind of funny. Like again, assault a beggar. That just sounds bad. Mm. Assault a diplomat. Oddly sounds ever so slightly less bad. And defend a carriage. There we go. 100% all around. So really my way of doing it currently of just kind of leaning towards <coughs> Finding citizens, but prioritizing uh, a goal is good because that just means that I will not like super duper focus down on getting citizens on my side only to then not be able to recruit anymore while aimlessly going about. Since the flag is right here, grab that. Let's -a go! Oh, we passed by the citizen. The citizens around here somewhere. They gone. I'm here to save a man. And as usual, we shall... ...loot the bodies for medicines, bolts, and bullets. Don't make me throw dead bodies at you. Bald man. We have... ...entered a pact of murder. Join me. Grazie. Mille grazie, amico. You fight well, and for the right reasons, it seems. Could you Wall. use another blade by your side? My favorite assassin, Wall. It's like tofu in <laughs> Resident Evil. By the way, people, there's another citizen needing of saving. I don't know why you were assaulting guards, but I don't really care. They're guards, and their lives are expendable. Let me loot at least two bodies.
But as we just go about the usual of things, I guess I shall talk more about us, uh, Overwatch 2. Because Overwatch 2 is such a polarizing game to me because I want to enjoy the game. I want to enjoy the game, but then I'm constantly reminded, oh yeah, I can't really do all that much with it at the end of the day. Because, sure, people say, ah, oh, just play it to enjoy it, but at the same time, there are a million different games out there that are like, hey, big boy, if you play me, you'll be able to actually earn shit at the same time as playing the game, so we reward you for your time and effort. Like, not to mention that, like, hilariously, yeah. not too long after, like, uh, Overwatch 2 came out, League of Legends started uh, a Battle Pass event of its own, because usually it seems that uh... Bibbidi bop. It usually it seems that what's it? <laughs> it's just better. Usually League of Legends doesn't have like uh... Battle Passes. Usually the only Battle Pass that exists is for Team, uh, team Fight Tactics, their Auto Chess. <laughs> game mode, which is kind of funny to me, but uh, they actually added a an event battle pass for their like diddly d like uh, worlds. What is it? Super contest. It's like their yearly. Oh yeah, the super contest of magicalness, and to celebrate. Uh, since we only have one assassin, I'm not going to risk her life. But, yeah. Since they are celebrating their super tournament, you have five weeks to get a decent selection of, like, free things. Sure, there is a few stupid free things like LOL, an icon. But then there's also a bit of, like free stuff that's actually decent, primarily because you technically only earn tokens across the event by just playing the game, usually. By playing the game, you attain various things that complete the quests, that give battle pass experience, and then once you get, like, 50 tokens, you can get a new champion shard. Or get Blue Essence, which is the thing that you need to buy, like, champions for free. Or you can even save up and get a capsule that has the opportunity to drop you a skin shard, which is, like, cosmetics. And it's just like, Loading. for some reason, that just feels ever so slightly better than... The capitalists think we run these companies for profit. Overwatch. Those fools, those fools work for you. Optional slavery in exchange for pieces of paper. Doesn't that strike you as foolish? Yep. Fire, water, and earth are contracted, with the complacency of the people away from the people. So I'm going to assume things that feature no people. Darn. Uh, that? Or is it the ones with people? Technically, that does. Uh, da -da. All right, it was the one. With, it was Loading. either without people or with people. It was one or the other. But yeah, I just find it funny Scanning. that. Scanning. What's the purpose? What Various what numbers. Purpose of all this. Thirty. Four hundred seventy-six. Leet. Thirteen thirty-seven. That year 14, is leet. But yeah, I just find it funny that Overwatch Loading. Two comes out, a big downgrade from Overwatch One. Democracy must die to ensure the stability of the Making world. Making use of Capitalism that created by three, the center it. behind the scenes waited for citizens united to wed the U.S. to the Templars' will. Are they saying that the <laughs> the Republican justices are Templars? I think they are, and that's hilarious. Uh, 
That is extra hilarious. Just go about, try and find things. Lots of numbers. I'm sure they're hidden. Hidden messages. <laughs> I can highlight the number three. One of them will hold the answer. Somewhere is the answer, I'm sure. It keeps flashing over the nine. Like various things. Maybe it's a hint. Three, 70, R, nine. 379, but it doesn't seem like there is much. I figure I went over all the relevant things. Also, it doesn't help that that's a very big photo. Let's see. Or maybe... Huh. It keeps saying, like, incorrect thing, but... 3-9-C... R... Like, maybe that's, like, a hint, but... Okay, I don't think... I don't think I like this one because I went over all the obvious answers. Yes, lots of hidden shit. Uh, give me the... Give me the correct coordinates so I can solve the puzzle. Making use of that created by three. Three's down here. The center... One, two, three. We the people. Nope, still incorrect. For citizens... Where is the correct... <laughs> Where is the correct? Come on! Just give me the shit, you assholes. Ah, uh, yes, vague bullshittery, and now we won't, like, is it the hand? There we go. So, yes, yeah, the Republican justices are Templars. Giligi. All right. K over eight. K over eight. For four, it's a C. Oh, yeah, I just find it funny. I was like, we're gonna do a battle pass in Overwatch 2, and then immediately leak who doesn't really do battle passes, except for, like, the mobile version. Like, immediately come in, it's like, here's actually a decent one. And that is blank, and I don't see a pattern, so we shall leave that be. Squiggly D over zero. Uh, that's blank, so Fucking bullshit. Nine over nine for one K. The answer is cock. But sadly, it can't be because. Where's K, K, K? Where's the K? There's the K. All right. R over Z. Interesting. R over zero for eight. I don't see a like a pattern here. Like the obvious answer is there's like a secret in the 
like the photos of like oh yes like nine and three were showing up and 70 but like i don't know that just like maybe if we hover over them like three does that change anything like there is no Z over 8. The 70. What if it's 3 over the 6? And that still makes 8 blank, which is hilarious. And R over 2, which... Obviously, that can't be right. Let's see. There isn't even a Z to use. So, so yeah, that's... Again, probably not correct. We'll just go back to Templar Republicans' advice. Tricky one. Some of those symbols look like letters. They probably come from somewhere, but where exactly? That's the question. So handy. Some of those look like letters, but where do they come from? Probably these ciphers. 16 is definitely not in the running for a marriage anytime soon, so that word wed stands out a bit. Yeah, I already found I that out. Any Rings. But maybe there's something else up there wedding related. But, like, obviously there's something with. He's okay, so like Z three seventy N K But none of them like make sense for the cipher itself. Tricky one. Some of those symbols look like letters. They probably come from somewhere, but where exactly? That's the question. Yeah, and again, there's nothing in, like, the wheel, so it's probably something like the... Oh, look over the diddly D, the, the photos, and discern the answers, but I do not want to do that! Uh, what's the point of a cipher if it's not even a proper cipher? Like, uh... M-K-Z... All right, then what if that was Z and that was N? Nope. So let's take a look around. Because C... Three... Like, there's numbers. Three. Seventy. R. Nine. N-K. And then the Z down there. So... The answer is probably... Because K and C are being used. So maybe Z... N, R, and I just need to use random combinations of it, maybe. All right. Let's find Z up in... Oh, no, we already did Z. So let's try and find R. Nope. Uh, nope. Like three? Maybe R. Like, I don't know. Maybe you need to be that, and then you can be N or Z. Or R. Nope, I'm out of ideas. Ah. <laughs> uh, well, wait. It obviously can't be three. It obviously can't be N. But we already tried like uh, Z. And but not nine. We didn't try nine. So let's find uh, all right. Then 
let's make you nine. Well, that's all I have. Or maybe. No, that can't be it either because... Like, uh, three of the glowy things that were on the diddly D are the key. Like, nine and K and, uh... There wasn't an R, though. I was just being dumb. But... And, like, C is down here. That was glowing. K, so, like... Tricky one. Some of those symbols look like letters. They probably come from somewhere, but where exactly? That's the question. The glowy bullshit. I don't like this one. It's, I don't know, it just seems bothersome. What does it mean? What does it mean? Hmm. Maybe if we find, no. Like, if there was like an R that was out there. Like, that would be kind of interesting, maybe, to... Like, if there was a C uh, as the key here, but the then answer correlated to nothing, maybe we could come down to the C, click that, and it's like, ah, oh, the answer is revealed, but no. I am bothered by this shit. I just, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. It doesn't make sense to me. It's like, we the people, but what does that mean? One, two, three. Like, I did it. Making use of that created by three. The center behind the scenes waited like just a bunch of shenanigan bullshit. Yeah, I just, I don't like this one. For whatever reason, this one doesn't gel with me. And again, why does this... Sh why do they glow? What do they mean? And there's so many things like 3 glows, 70 glows, Z glows, NK glows. There's an R, so there was an R. I'm dumb. And the 9 glows, the C glows. So we have C, 3, 70, 9, R, Z, N, K. Well, what the fuck does any of it mean? Oh, that's not 70. That's kind of diddly D. That's the little bobbity ba. I assume it was 7 because brain connect, but it's actually the thing over the zero. So does that mean that thing over that, uh, the answer is seven? Or, uh, zero? I assume not because zero's there, so... Ooh, I'm very angry. Because <laughs> zero is obviously glowing here, but zero is on the wheel and it's not the answer of the thing. But I guess that's kind of the hint in a way because it goes over the zero, but that doesn't fucking help me correlate anything. And then there's just three by itself. There's Z by itself. NK together. What does any of it fucking mean? Yeah, I am. I am not a fan of this one. At all. The hints don't make sense to me at all. Hey, go to two, even though there's nothing to fucking make any kind of answer at all. So it's just a question of what the fuck do we do? because nothing seems to correlate with anything else of the glowy. R over zero, because there was R, but it was just by itself. It was just by itself. 
and didn't go to anything. There was N and K, and there are two Ks here. And there was also nine, but there was also three. And th I, I don't know. I don't know what it wants from me. None of it makes sense. Billy. Because again, R over zero for eight, but eight is blank because the game's an asshole. And it's like, woohoo, we're going to be obtuse and bullshit. Because, you know, that's my favorite fucking thing in the world. Like, I liked it when it was, like, interesting and I could, like, go, oh, things on the cipher wheel connected to each other across. But... There's just something about this that just bothers me. Because it does feel like it's expecting you to go to the pictures, but then nothing in the pictures correlate to anything by themselves. So it's just like, what even the fuck? <laughs> what, whatever, whatever. It doesn't uh, feel good. It's just like, I don't know. I do not know. I do not know. I do not know. Let's take a look again. Because it's obviously Z. And it's just like that over zero, but NK, where does N come into anything? Row, row, row your boat. It's just like the R, the nine, there's M? Screw it, let's throw Z and M in there for randomly, I guess. I don't know, let's make you Z, and then let's make you M. And then we'll swap, we'll just throw all the numbers in there. None of this makes sense to me. How? How? What was the three for? Loading. Where does N come into this? Where does N come into this? Where does N come into this? Where does N? Because like C, that was incorporated. K, I guess, was incorporated. What was nine about? What was like... Uh, the little cutoff seven corner over zero, but that was a part of the normal coordinates. Was that just a coordinate hint? But how would you even think? Why do some correlate to like the answer, but some correlate to seemingly the... Nothing makes sense. This was a dumb puzzle. It honestly felt like this isn't even a puzzle. This is spaghetti thrown against the wall and said, you f solve it. That's what it is. I honestly don't think that there is a way to honestly solve that, except by looking at the, the letters and go, well, C and K are letters, maybe all the other ones are letters. It's brute forcing, it's not solving, this is a bad puzzle. Bad. Republican Templars, sure. December 2000, and 2000 reprivatization. I have convinced Sandra to join the majority opinion, the enticement of retirement under Republican president tempt the scales. Although the ruling will differ from our previous decisions on equal protection, it will not call attention to our actual goals. With Sandra gone, we can pave the way for the key majority member of the order to be seated. As discussed, W, W, will provide the perfect distraction. I have no doubt he will restart animosities with Iraq. Let him. It will give C's contractors more work. When the time comes, I will make sure W is given Robert's name. If Robert's on the court, it will only be a matter of waiting for the right case. After the destruction of campaign finance laws, the company will be free to elect anyone they choose to the Senate, the House, and eventually the presidency. Soon our hopes will be re realized. Government will no longer der derive its authority from the people, but from us, their protectors. And the sad thing is, that probably isn't too far off from the craziness some Republicans believe. Loading. Alright, what wacky... 
move we gonna make? B8, C6, 6C, 8B. Our moves are echoes, they are not our own. Um, our moves are echoes, they are not our own. B8, let's see, B8. Yeah, we already moved him. Unless... I didn't even get to the second Loading. part, I just went off of B8. Quarantine zone. The yeah. capitalists will do whatever we tell them to. We print the dollars they worship, after all. Dang it. But yeah, I don't like the puzzle on this one. Quarantine lifted. And I don't know, there's something a little fucky about going lull. Uh, Republicans are a part of the super conspiracy. Like, I don't doubt that they would, like, full-heartedly be behind that because a bunch of Republicans in power just seem to be a bunch of assholes. But I do think that it's still ever so slightly fucky to put real people in your video game conspiracies. But okie doke. We'll continue on our glyph hunt, just to get it out of the way. And then as we come across the glyphs in the future, we will just, like, uh, deal with them as they come, to make things simpler. If we come across a dove coop, we will send more assassins out on missions. And then after we do all the glyphs, we will see what side things there are to do, like the Christina memory, more Leonardo. Maybe we'll see about any, like, uh, shop quests there are to do. If we have the necessary items for it. Hmm, I also have lots of money, so let's see if we can buy these two things. Just because. Sure, why not? I have money. And I just assume that that will make the other thing impossible to get. And there's a flag on top. I don't care about it. If I wanted to, I could just, like, go after all the flags eventually on my own. Ah, it's over here. Let's see how expensive it is. And, like, the one banky trip that I'll probably need to make to get it. Oh, I... Oh, it literally is one banky trip. Where is the nearest bank? Is there even a bank out here? Why are there no... I guess it kind of makes sense this is the boonies, but still. It feels a little odd that there are no banks. Well, uh, we have plenty of things to buy anyway. So, we'll just get our money from a bank when we come across shit. And then, just buy whatever renovations else we come across. Is there an architecto? Or no, because we already got this one. We already did. We already fixed that one up, I guess. Maybe. Or maybe that one does have a plaque instead of an architect. To which I would say that's an odd decision to make. Like, uh, buying places. A, oh, it is gray until you buy it. And then it becomes full in. But our uh, aqueducts are the opposite. Lots of level ups. Once again, I prefer armor over others. Hmm, on level one, we'll save that just in case. Let's see. Oh, that's in progress. Steal a victory. 
7%. We are not going to send anybody on that. Find a mole, 40%. And then we can send a level one to partake of the experiencing. I trust that you can survive that. Let's start a riot. Just send everybody out. My horse disappeared, so I shall take yours. Well, and uh, the riot was successfully started. Which means that there's another mission I can send people on. Assassinate guards. You go do that, little man. I don't need... Uh, my horse disappeared again. Give me your horse, ugly woman. Uh, not to enforce stereotypes on, uh, stereotypical beauty, but by the stereotypes of stereotypical beauty, I must, uh, refute that claim. Alright. So, this area this area. We are going to find the specifics of this glyph because <laughs> no, I am not going to go about looking for it. It should be on the tower it seems, unless my glancing glanced incorrectly. So let's find a tower and stare at it. It's probably that tower. Yeah! one of these towers. It is that tower. Once again, just would be nice if they existed within real space, because I would have obviously gotten this one already by the mere fact that I completed this diddly-dee already. I completed this as a uh, Borgia tower. And then the game just went, uh, lol, fuck you, you can't, uh, see. We're not gonna allow you to see, which is just... Very dumb. Uh... It seems that we'll probably have to drop down on this one as well. But yeah, it's very dumb because I would have gotten this one already. But the game just decides, lol, fuck you, you didn't have eagle vision on 24-7 for the ten things that is required for. <coughs> oh, fuck off. I obviously fucking grabbed it, you dick-ass game. I am not in the mood for your bullshit game. It is already very incredibly stupid that... You're standing there going, lol, you could have gotten this when you did the Borgia Tower. Only to now go, lol, you didn't actually grab it. <laughs> Fuck you. That's not what I wanted. There we go. You silly, silly game. Let's do this cluster. I think this is cluster eight. Cluster eight, so we have two more to do after this. And I don't think I've run into those buildings yet, maybe. Loading. We'll have to check my map map to see. All right, let's see. Twisty twist. Fallout is my favorite game.
very interesting. This is frustrating. It's the same thing that I dislike, where... Okay, let's see. It takes one turn, two turn, let's see, which way? I already messed it up. Wait, nope. One... It takes one turn. So... And you... Oh, wait. Frustrated. I do not like these puzzles. They don't even really feel like puzzles to me. They just feel like randomness. It just feels like why? It just feels very strange. I don't like it. I, I do not like these ones because it's just going back and forth. And it's just like, ah, you should uh, use your brain and figure it out. And it's just like, fuck off. This is stupid. I don't like these puzzles. These puzzles are very fucking dumb. Because it's just going back and forth five billion different times. And it's just like, can we just get on with it already, please? That would be nice, getting on with things. But then inevitably the game says, lol, fuck you. Especially because it just it keeps going back and forth and back and forth. And you have to fix things. It's just like, I don't like it. It feels just monotonous. And uh, it's obviously expecting you to, like, move it in a specific way. And I just don't have the goddamn patience for this 3D million five chess it's going for. Like, dude, please. Alright, let's see. Because we are at the point where we just need to move these two. Ah, oh, but then that would move the other... I don't like these! Ah! I hate it. Ah, it's just it's annoying. That's all it is, it's annoying. Because let's see, it is... One, two, three, four... Moves away. But if I try to move just them... Oh, then it also moves the inner circle. But if I try to move the inner circle, it moves the outer circle! Everything is pain! Ah, <laughs> oh, I hate it. I don't like these puzzles. They don't even really feel like puzzles. They just feel like bullshit. Especially because all of the related circles are fucking related. It's just like, why? <laughs> I hate it so fucking much. It's so stupid. I hate it. <laughs> oh, it's just bothersome. Good God, it's so bothersome. That's all it is. You're just moving shit, and then the game is like, lol, move it back, dipshit, and then... <laughs> I hate that there are three that are interconnected in this stupid fucking triangle. I hate it so fucking much. I mean, sure, there's that. So maybe that would work. So maybe we can do that, and I don't know. 
All right. 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 Because these are connected, but the outer is also connected. So, if we get this fixed, we might be able to not have to deal with you ever again. And then, if we then fuck about, now we just need to go, how many do we need to fix? One. Two, three, four, five, six. All right. Six moves. One, two, three, four, five, six. I just don't like the ones that are interconnected to this degree, man. Ooh! -hoo. All right. Well, granted, now that we're... I don't even know. Uh, at this point, we should be able to, like, just go like this. Fix that. Come down to the center. Put you back. All right, uh, let's see. One, so it's basically all the way. So if we turn it upside down, then turn this upside down, we sh... No, that won't work. Which one needs to be... I hate this fucking 5D chess bullshit. I don't like it, because, yeah, being able to move this all together is nice. But then it inevitably ends up out of way, and I feel like I'm onto something, but then the game is just an asshole. I fucking hate this puzzle. Good fucking God, I don't like these puzzle types. These puzzle types are annoying and frustrating. It was apparently upside down the entire time anyway. I fucking hate these puzzles. They're not fun to me. They're stupid. Come on. I'm going to gouge out my own eyes. This is stupid. I hate it. I hate these puzzles with a passion because they just, they're stupid so much. Stupid. Ah. Oh. oh, utterly loathsome. Oh, oh, so utterly loathsome. It's just like, I'm always, like, feeling like I'm on the brink of getting the answer. Just like, always, on the brink, feeling like I'm about to get the answer. And then it always, always throws something at me to just make me fucking suffer. Ugh. All right. Idea, ho well, no, that won't work. Unless, no, it won't work. I'm just trying to outplay the stupid system. I hate it. The system is so fucking stupid. I hate it so much. Oh boy, do I love uh, stupid bullshit time. All right. Like, the only way is to, like, have it kind of like this, and then if we move... Like, yeah, technically you exist too. So... I do not know everything. 
So it's some combination of those three, but I am just ever enraged by how this is annoying. Why can't it just be simple? Ah, it's a puzzle. It's a dumb puzzle is what it is. Ah, oh, I just hate it so fucking much. It isn't fun to me to meander in bullshit. Because that's what it is. It's meandering bullshit. It's my favorite thing in the world. Meandering bullshit. It's so fucking good. Oh, I fucking hate it. Ooh, I do not like it. Because again, it's some combination of this. Like, I don't even think it's that. Some of this, I do not know. I do not know. And I don't even, like, I keep thinking that I have something. And then I try to move it. And then I lose my fucking thought process. It's just like, why? Why? Why are you like this? Ah, oh, I hate it. It's not fun. It's just annoying. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. But fine, fuck it. Let's just fuck about, I guess. Because why have cohesive bullshit when you can just fuck around, I suppose? He hiddly he, I guess. This is how we play video games now. Fucking guessing, because we're not allowed to actually uh, uh, ascertain answers. Nope, no answers allowed anymore. Because again, there's no real point in me trying to, like, get it, because my brain refuses to retain, like, the, oh, I do this to get it right, and then the game just fucking ruins my thought process. Ah, oh, I fucking hate it. Oh, I fucking hate it. Like, maybe if we match up this... Then that's in place, so if we move it about, it'll break again. I just, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Like, the only answer... New idea. It's extra fucking about. But it might work eventually. What I'm trying to do... Is kinda... And not to mention it's just like the selection wheel sometimes is just fucking weird. I da 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 Woo! Like, this seems like the simplest idea to potentially get it right, but I don't know anymore. It's to try and, like, move the bottom part of the head into the way of where this is moving it, but I don't think that'll work. Now I am... I was so slightly enraged, like, eh. It's just, I'm, tr I'm trying things, but... I am enraged! I just, I don't like this puzzle type! Oh, oh, oh I hate it! Oh, I just, I do not like it at all. <sighs> it just, it hurts so fucking much. I 
and then like trying to get the the things functioning. I'm just ever so slightly losing my mind, mind, my mind, my mind. I don't like these puzzles. Because it's just like, hey, fuck about with the full picture. And then we're going to like move about the full picture so you can't even do shit. Fuck off. I even forget what I was trying to do now. I don't even think it was going to work. This is just bullshit. I hate it. This is fucking stupid. Fuck this puzzle. I'm sure it's simple enough in certain way of like, ah, this turn that way, this turn that way in a certain pattern. But I just fucking hate it. It's not fun. Because it feels arbitrary. To some degree. So it's just like, why are you like this? Like, there is, like, it feels like this is my best chance of maneuvering the lower head in conjunction with moving that. But I don't know how. Let's see. All right. If we maneuver. Because every single time, it's just like, now this is correct. Yeah, I think this is just... I don't like this. Oh boy, howdy, do I not like this. I think I can manipulate the bottom head and the top head in relation just to keep it simple. It's not simple. So let's see. Finally found a pattern that worked, but it's just like there's just so many interlocking things with that kind of puzzle that it just fries my brain as I'm trying to pick out which ones are connected to what and how they move and how I can manipulate them. And it just feels like it spirals out of control with how many options there are, specifically with how they're done. Sometimes it's really simple Loading. with the certain pieces that are connected. Sometimes it's just very annoying. And it's just like, I don't like those puzzles. They feel just arbitrarily annoying rather than, aha, something that's interesting. Again, because so many of the pieces are interlocked again and again and again and again and again. So you're just trying to think, okay, which one of these are worthless to move? that are interlocked and which ones are literally required. It just, it feels more like trial and error than puzzle solving there. And I guess to some degree, trial and error is puzzle solving, but it just feels annoying. Research Division, September 1985. Dear S, because we can't use full names in this world. Research has progressed far more rapidly than expected. We already have a working prototype capable of mimicking Piece of Eden capabilities across the network, albeit a far lower intensity. Testing will commence locally on Subject 4 between his Animus sessions, as per our plan. If all goes well, deployment will occur worldwide. Your dream is about to become reality. Soon, capitalists and workers will be locked in a closed loop that is safe and prosperous for humanity. No more war, ha. Huh? Only desks, cars, and TV sets. We will protect them and keep them safe forever. Well, that didn't work out, now did it? Loading. Infinite rooms. Dimensions. Also, I want to know what an 8 1985 I animus would look like. Nothing alive. No light. No warmth. 
packets moving. Husks through the darkness. I am frightened. I am frightened. I don't even know what you are. Are you like a, Loading. a piece of Subject 16? Or are you literally just an AI? Having an existential crisis. But yeah, I just, I don't like puzzles like that. Like, not in the, like, not like too, too much of like, eh, I hate it. But like, just enough that they're annoying. Like, just enough to be aggravating. There we go. Oh, never mind. So what's a super bump? down. What the hell? Oh, it's because I was deselecting them. Alright. I think the selection icon should be a bit more obvious. They're all selected. Okay, that's not bad, but we need to rein them in, so... This one just has way too many options now. I am aggravated. If only there was like, let's see, is there any that's like... But then that just overshoots for some reason. If only there was one that was... I don't know. <sighs> Why do we even have to listen to these stupid telephone calls? They don't add anything. Why? Why must we listen to telephonic Causes that don't answer any questions of worth in the universe. <laughs> I'm losing it. What selection is needed for this? Ah. ah. I'm losing my mind. Completely and utterly losing my mind. Balali. Damn. Ah! Ever so slightly, just continually losing my mind. Losing my mind. Why? Arbitrary, just annoyance be these arbitrary annoyance 
That's my favorite kind of puzzle. Arbitrary annoyance. Because why fucking try? It just always feels like just out of reach. And like so many of them like, I hate it. Hate it, Billy boy. Oh, so near. Ah. Question. Why does that send them up? Like, that feels like it's reversed. Yeah, why is that reversed? This one's broken. Because it seems like it's telling me, oh, do this and like uh, middle right and uh, far right will go up, but they actually go down. So, or maybe it's, uh, once again, the selection process is very minor, all things considered. Hibbledy piggledy, I do not like this puzzle. Mainly just after w the annoyance of the ring puzzle. I didn't like the ring puzzle. The ring puzzle was stupid. The ring puzzle just hurt my soul. And begs question of why even? And now I'm just, like, going about it randomly because I just have no care. Like, that is so freaking close. So close. It is honestly infuriating. It's just, like, sure... Like, I could learn it, but I don't want to because I already burnt out my brain on this stupid puzzle from before. Like, that's the problem of, like, puzzle, 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 puzzle. My brain is going to run out of shits to give game. And that's the problem. Like, my brain doesn't want to learn the puzzle anymore because I already spent all of my brain matter on the spinny wheel one. Which was just annoying! And just why? Why can't thing be nice? Just do it randomly. Random bullshit. For the power of random bullshit, I'll get it, surely. Cause yeah, I just like I have no care for this puzzle. I don't give a shit. Fuck off. It's just like options and modifiers. Woo 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 woo. I don't care. I don't fucking care. It just doesn't interest me. Doesn't interest me. Fuck off. And it honestly just feels like the amount that it is affecting anything is arbitrary. Oh, I hate this. Again, it's hard to tell which ones are active because they only minorly change. So once you have a few activated, your brain just goes, duh, what the fuck is anything anymore? It's just like none of this is being retained. None of this fucking matters to me. Can I just get on with the game? Why is it like this? Fuck you, game. I do not like this. This is just boring again. Because we're now back to the random thing. If I solve it, it's not going to feel like, ooh, I did it. It's going to feel like, ooh, I randomly stumbled upon the correct combination. Which, technically, that's all this is. Because once you get to a certain point, it's just like not anything. It is very annoying. Oh, 
Blah, 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 blah. Okay, that should be reset to neutral. Bah, 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 bah. It's like I don't know which ones to do because, again, my brain sometimes fries and goes like, oh, is it activated or not? So, once we're halfway through trying to mess around with the things, it's going to feel like nothing's anything anymore. So that's always nice. I don't know. So, I'll just like, I don't know, like, that seems like it's good. Ba -ba. That seems like on the right track, I don't know, like, yeah? Yeah? What the fuck? I don't like these puzzles. Hello, Comstata customer support. Diana speaking. I'm these calling puzzles are mean. HD cable service. Uh, there seems to be some kind of picture between the channels. Well, that's funny. Are you sure it isn't just one of those premium movie channels? I didn't used to have a premium package at home either, and sometimes little snippets of the channels would come through when my son Jimmy pressed the clicker too much. How old's your Jimmy? Ten and cute as a button. Thanks that's for asking. That's a weird thing to. My pulse <laughs> twelve. But no, this, I guess this isn't it's a like a problem. A I little go to bit change of the channel from 172 country, to 173 and small talk. instead, uh, there's this other channel in between. I'm looking at it right now. It's uh, some kind of menu. A menu? Sounds like our guide channel. Why, just the other day, Jimmy... It's not the guide channel. It has my name on it, my son's name... That's creepy. ...things we like, my credit card purchases... Now that's an travel. episode of Black Mirror. And then after that, there's this gibberish about biometric patterns and optimal screen refresh frequencies. There's some kind of heart monitor things that says EEG wireless next to it and they are I don't know what the particulars of this are, but it looks like your cable is programmed to have some kind of effect on our bodies. That's well, very creepy. Sir, I don't even know how to respond to that. Uh one second, my supervisor is just <laughs> My come supervisor over. comes over. She says I should transfer your call. Have an ecstatic day with calm static. Alright, what fresh hell awaits this man? Hello. I have been briefed on your problem. A technician, technician. is on his way. Technician. He's going to kill your family. Thank you, but, but the more I think about this, the more I think something bad's going on here. You should have told him that. Our technician should be there any minute, Mr. Jameson. But don't bother, right? Daddy, there's someone standing at the door. He's getting the door real hard. Have a good day, Mr. Jameson. Yep, Mr. Jameson is dead. And his kid. Loading. Again. <laughs> a creepy, uh... Diddly D of Black Mirror is that one. Watch, move fat. What the fuck? Watch, move fast. Shift from first to second. Zero to sixty. Don't think. Uh, first. Eh? That's the only thing I could think Loading. could move to car. There's someone there. Blah. Hello. Hello. Ah, Loading. I am allergic to uh, bullshit Quarantine puzzles. Zone. Although online gaming attracts many people away from reality, make sure these virtual worlds do not become too utopic. We don't want people to question their own lack of success in the real world now, do we? That's amusing. Oh, there's another one. I just thought it didn't want me to go too fast. Is that what Blizzard is doing with... Uh... Overwatch 2? Quarantine Can't have us it. be too successful. Now can we? But yeah, I just... It re it's reaching the point in the cluster puzzles... To just be annoying rather than... Ooh, I get to solve thing. And more like... Good giggly Scott. Okay, Aquadato Claudia. Set marker. And it is over there. Can I even reach it? Will it be blocked by Diddly D? Let us find out. But yeah, once again, like, uh, I just feel like the glyphs have their own fair share of annoyances. Like, there, with the fact that I would have found that if the game let me 
like, look for glyphs in the real world. And instead, it's like, lol, fuck you. Have eagle vision on 24-7 when you see the eye icon. Can't have you actually, like, uh, play in the game. We don't like it when people, like, uh, go about and have an easy time with our video game. Like, what, did the main person of Assassin's Creed 2 get annoyed that people managed to, like, find the glyphs easily? Is that what it was? <laughs> Because what, like, what function is served? And once again, I am fairly certain that we will get to the breach of the world and the game will be like, Sorry, you can't access this glyph even though we told you a glyph is here. But at the same time, you can't access the area that the glyph is in. Very annoying. And what I presume will be. But I am fairly certain, like, no, no, backing up, mixing my thoughts. I don't understand the function of why the glyphs were made worse. The glyphs being able to be you like seen and found relatively easily was like nice in Assassin's Creed 2. And in the game he's like, hey, hey fuck you. No more nice deals. And now he can send them on contracts. Let's see, do we have a level one? No level ones. Forty-two. So we could send three together, but that would... Hmm. Plus, that's kind of weird that this guy, it says that it doesn't, like, add experience to him. Unless it's like, uh, I don't know, it feels weird. Plus 73 experience, but it, like, doesn't give, like, the... Or, oh, no, that's why. That's why. It, he has 22 experience. He has 12 experience. This guy has, like, 10 experience. Or, like, no experience or something. I don't know. The bar graph seems weird. So let's see. Hmm. Sure, why not? It gives things, and why not? It's 100% odds of success and sends out all of them at once. Eh, screw it, why not? Let's go crazy. And again, it despawns my horse. No, there's a glyph out there in them hills. Uh, profound sadness. A little stupid that the game is like lol. We're gonna lock it off. And I think, presumably, the other glyphs are out there in them hills that I can't do anything with. So empty faction building that we can renovate. And then... Probably what we'll do is then head to the bank, see if we can do any, qu like, store quests. Uh, get my money, see if there's anything that I can renovate. Would be interesting if I could see, like, the price of, like, these things, so that I don't have to run up to them and be like, sorry, jackass, you can't renovate this. But yeah. I just feel like something is up with the glyphs. That somebody who is, like, involved with the glyphs in Assassin's Creed 2 went gasp in horror. People were able to do the the, 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 the glyphs. Okay, that was weird. Altair was Jojo crouching, I guess, on the horse. If L from Death Note rode a horse. But again, it just it feels like the glyphs went through a downgrade of you like like a downgrade of user friendliness. Purely to just, like, increase the quote-unquote difficulty. It's not a difficulty. It's just an annoyance because it's like, wow, I would have seen that by now if I had just uh, put on my eagle vision. 
but putting on the eagle vision is ever so slightly annoyed. It's for quick bursts. Like, maybe I'm weird, but I don't like the... I don't like to be that stereotypical Batman Arkham player who has the bat vision on at all times. Like, like uh, especially if, uh, when it's like the eagle vision in this game, in which the eagle vision is only okay. So I don't like having it on at all times. Whereas I'm okay to have the bat vision on slightly more often. Because it like feels like I can still play the game with it. All right, we'll head to the bank, check out the shop quests, and then just see what things we can renovate, which are like super expensive. Dump my money into. Let's -a go. Why are there just so many bards? Who, like, they're not even singing in my honor. Well, that reminds me. Recent, like, I think just today, Aaron Duke, a YouTuber who primarily covers hey, hey. Dead by Daylight on YouTube, and uh, he's recently pivoted his content to kind of critiquing, like, uh, yeah. Dead by Daylight streamers, and, like, basically going over, like, hey, if you're a streamer, don't do this. This is why they're being, like, psychotic and uh, just kind of wrong and mean. But all the all the while trying to remove as many identifying factors as possible to limit the harassment they might receive. Just for their sake and all. As well as to kind of defend himself from the same crazy streamers going, He's attacking me! When he's just like, I can't be attacking you because I blurred out your face, uh, altered your voice, removed as many identifying factors as possible so people can't even try to find you. This is purely just to, like, tell people, yeah, don't be like this person. Here are examples of what not to be. But, uh, today he released a video of a very odd person who like stalks pe like <laughs> stalks the rows of uh, the just chatting channel on you on Twitch goes into their twi uh, their Twitch chat goes hey my chat wants me to uh, likes you and wants me to do a freestyle rap about you call me into a Discord channel so I can let you hear it but at the same time, he doesn't even say that. It's a, he just makes the process cumbersome. And also, his chat doesn't direct him to these people. He's literally just looking for people in the just chatting area. Purely to... I still need that Silvaticum. Perhaps another time. Yeah, he, like, his chat doesn't even recommend these people. He just goes to channels that are live in that... Like diddly dee, the just chatting Twitch category lies to them saying, My chat wanted me to do a freestyle rap about you when he's just looking for essentially free exposure. And like, I already lost the track of where I was going. Because, oh yeah, it was the bards. The bards were just standing there not doing anything, and only start singing and start harassing you specifically. And that's why I thought of him. Because that's basically what he does. Like, he says, my chat wanted me to, when he... when his chat didn't. His chat didn't want him to go and freestyle about these people. He just says that. And apparently he did it twice in a row to a guy without meaning to because <laughs> he doesn't even like remember the people that he's already went up to and be like hey my chat wanted me to so he went to the one guy twice not remembering that he already freestyled for him 
and did the whole initial rigmarole. So it, he's like... <laughs> which is actually hilarious, because he follows them, then drops the message. So he had to have unfollowed this guy to then say, hey, my chat wanted me to, and then the guy was just like, but I know you. You already did a freestyle about me. Did you forget? Which is kind of funny. The people there are in the world. And that they are like the bards of Assassin's Creed 2 and Brotherhood. I still don't know why it's called Brotherhood Not 3. And why they just get rid of all... I think I'm going to keep my icon on that one because that one's rather expensive and then when I get my next money batch, I'll uh, try to buy that. But at the same time, I'll probably reset my cur auto cursor if I go to a mission, which is a little annoying. So we'll go get that money, do assassin assignments, and then do those two missions because why not? Yeah, I feel like my brain is fried after doing those puzzles. I do not like those puzzles. Like, there's just a certain level of puzzle that my brain just looks at and gets angry at. It doesn't help that I already went through a few of these kinds of puzzles in Assassin's Creed 2. So I'm just like, I've been through, I've been through hell. I've been through this before. When will my prison sentence end? That was a nice chest. Again, I don't understand the draw, like the fall damage in this game. It honestly feels kind of wonky. But we'll head to that assassin tower, give some assignments. Don't know why the game autoed me to an area where he couldn't auto climb. I swear the free running in this game is ever slightly you scuffed. Be up here. He's Could be our man. Better have a look. I am the man. I am the man, 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 man. I am the man, 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 way up in the air. Now where's the Where's the coop? I think it might be on the other side of this wall. Once again, game, there was a perfectly normal free free run target that you just decided to say, fuck that, I'm not going to that. To which I question why. Why? Why game be jerk? And where is the goddamn coup? Where is the coup? Or is this just like labeled as an assassin tower? If it is an assassin tower, I'm just gonna be like, well, why? Yeah, assassin tower, why? <laughs> All right, that has some function, but there is a pitching coup. I will say having uh, a tower that... I don't know why sometimes the game does that. We're just like, and Ezio has become Ragdoll. Why? Either he grabs thing or he begins falling. The Ezio Ragdolling just shouldn't be a thing. It just feels like a weird decision to have in the game. Either Ezio should be automatically grabbing thing, or Ezio should not be automatically grabbing thing. The weird in-between of and Ezio has begun to free fall is just stupid. It just feels very odd. But I wonder what the next Christina mission will be. Because again, we haven't seen Christina since the beginning of Assassin's Creed 2 chronologically. 
but at the same time, uh, I don't think Christina even really exists in this world. Let's just get your all of your survivability up. I prefer survivability. It's kind of annoying that there is the little glitchy animus menu doesn't let me go super fast, but oh well. And now a bunch of my assassins are level three. Nice. Steel victory. Hmm, definitely a no go there for now go. We'll send a level three so that he can get all the experience. Steal a relic is too hard. Assault a landlord, let's see. Uh, I trust you guys to get that done. Poison a noble. Hmm, too difficult. Bribe a herald. That's 11 experience, so... I, it's kind of annoying that all of them are like... There. Steal food. Because... That will level you up, so that's worth your time. Nice and simple. Poison ambassadors. Hmm. Let's go to Paris. Oh, that's a difficult one. But that's Totem. Totem? Get that done and get me that totem. Because I think I need that for one of my things. Let's go do that Christina mission, just because. Fall damage still can fuzzles me in this game. Christina, I am coming to remember you, I guess, because... And again, they just gave her a unique model in this game when she didn't have one in Assassin's Creed 2. Which is hilarious, because her canonical, like, timeline first appearance has her with a more unique model than the first time that we saw her in the chronological game timeline. I must chase this woman through the uh, crazy animus mysticalness. And again, she's just hauling ass. <laughs> Super speed. Oh, she's become an uh, he's become an assassin in the time. Thank you for coming. Of course, of course. Tell me, what can I do? My family's bodies. I can't just leave them hanging from the gallows. Hey, this is kind of a bookend. You to give them in a way. rights. Because that guy couldn't leave his world. wife hanging either. Capisco. Lead the way, Ezio. Alright, I like this. This is like uh, filling in some stuff that happened. And like... Uh, like actually puts Christina in the game. Granted, she wasn't there before, but it's kind of nice that they're adding her in retroactively. I wonder if it was difficult for his, like, voice actor to go back to doing young Ezio. I do like that they brought back... Why can't I take... Why I can't count her. Let's finish this. I can't... <laughs> I can't counter him. Why where can't I counter them? They've already been taken. Yes, but where? where? Tell me where they are. I don't know. I think they were taking them down to the river. To dump them. No. Christina. Vieni con me. It would have been neat if, like, Christina clocked him upside the head from behind. 
Like, I don't know. Quick. What will you do? Only one thing to do. Kill them. Kill them. No, don't do that. They did nothing wrong. They're gonna dump they my family's bodies. Unquestioningly. That makes them. It's you. Va bene. I'll sneak behind their backs. Get my family one at a time if Why I. Why can't I just to. beat them up? And carry them down to the river. Be careful. Yeah, like, why can't I just, uh, beat them up? Then I don't have to kill them. But still. Also, this is ever so slightly morbid. <laughs> my fucking family's bodies. I can loot my family. Oh, that's why. Because they have swords. And Ezio. It says, hey, break out, but it doesn't let me. Come on. I know. I'll just knock them off the rooftops. Perfect. <laughs> Come on. I wanted to loot my family's bodies. It's not my fault. I thought just holding it would pick them up. But for some reason, they let me loot my family's bodies. Besides, I didn't kill the guards. Gravity did. And now there's a patrol of guards here out of nowhere. Well, luckily they went by really quick and that guy's very fucking shiny. And again, just... Very disturbing that this is a mission. Finish moving the previous body, motherfucker, why not? That's a stupid stipulation. Why can I loot the body if the body has nothing? Like, wouldn't it have been tragic if it's like you got a feather after carrying the young boy's body and after he was wanting, like, feathers for a secret project that we never learned about. But yeah, that's just weird that it's like finish moving the previous body. Also kind of funny that the bodies get into picking up, <laughs> like, position. Also, I kind of find it funny that they only really noticed me like, uh, with the bodies when I was looting one of them. Because the guards, like, get aggro when it comes to, uh, looting. Very rude. I'm below the water, you can't hit me. I'm below the water, you can't hit me. Again, really wish I could just kill them. And now I shall hide around the corner and they will never find me. It'll take them a while to go away. But they will never find me. And they won't bother moving the body. You saw nothing, little man. The fuck? I guess they saw me and went onto the ledge to get a better look at me. That's kind of funny. Go away! God damn it. Why is the AI of these guys so scuffed? Do I have to lure them the fuck away? Okay, good. It seems that they're moving away on their own again. I don't understand why they were hanging around here a bit too long, if you ask me. It's not like the AI is smart enough to move the bodies. Which would have just made this mission annoying more than anything. You can't kill the guards, but they will do everything in their power to keep the bodies just there.
I have to leave the city. Christina, I want you to come with me. I want to. Yeah, Ezio, she still has a family. Take this and remember me. Ezio. Even though I won't remember you in Assassin's Creed 2 past the one night stand we technically had. <laughs> this is just reframing it to be like, oh, isn't it romantic? Ezio didn't mention her like once. In all of Assassin's Creed 2, beyond the initial lull one night stand. She wasn't mentioned. He went back to Fior. Like, to we went back to Florence. Auditori da Forenze. Yeah, he went back to Florence. To get the Apple of Eden and never even checked up on her, even when the city was in chaos. It just feels funny. Who I think I am? I am the owner of this horse. This horse is mine. That town crier is a poor crier because he started running the moment things got serious. He won't look over here. Hey, you're not supposed to look over here. Also, you're not on the mini-map, which is dumb. Impressive horse. And I thusly stole his horse. I could probably ride it right back past him. Hey! I stole that. I stole that horse. And they just left. They left their friends. Sweet Jesus will never save you. Salty Jesus will make you save yourself. Since we got some assassins vaccines in time, we'll go ahead and set them up with more upgrades and missions, and then we'll do this Leonardo mission. Because apparently we got a shit ton of our assassins back. <laughs> a plague of terror. A death. Also, it feels like for some reason, I want to say that there were, like, more missions to do stuff, like, like, the, to kill the multiplayer characters as missions. Just armor. Armor for everybody. And then after this armor, I think I'll start upgrading your weapons to make you, like, more efficient, because I don't think you need, like, plate armor just yet for the missions that we're sending you out on, but still. All right, contracts. Are there any big ones? With the big diddly D of like, ooh, we give big thing. There is Exodus for Terracotta Pot. And we can just send two people on that one. I was hoping that I could send the level 3 out to get more experience. No, it's just not worth it. The one time that I send out a guy like that, it would just like immediately. Just, ooh, the game would go, oh, that 3% chance killed him. Like, you just know that it would. And I'll send this one out together. I just think it would work well. That one pigeon flew off with a lot of missions. Lol. 
And now I have to send out another one, because right as I was finished sending out assassins, another assassin came back. So Can you assassinate a banker? You can assassinate a banker, so go kill a banker in Rome. But yeah, like, it felt like to get assassins to join you, there were missions of, like, this guy, like, maybe it was, like, I don't know. Like, there's an evil, an evil doctor, and you can, like, get a, an assassin. Maybe it's that, uh, like, I don't know. I felt like there were unique assassination targets in this game. And maybe there still are, because I know we killed the Executioner guy. But like, where are the other ones? A rich man. A rich man who's gonna die. Politician! Shank. And now we shall head out to save Leonardo de Ravioli. Examine the Borgia Tower section of the DNA menu to learn more information about them. They are towers that I must burn. Information complete. Belru... Belgardo? Whatever. So this is like a mini level, I can only assume. Do not kill anyone! Well, looks like I'm gonna punch people out a lot. Infiltrate the palazzo to find Lucrezia Borgia and discover the locations of the stolen villa paintings. Did you have an enjoyable ride, Duquesa? Hardly. I raced across the grounds at breakneck speed for fear of a knife in my back. I do not understand, Duquesa. Who is trying to kill you? Everyone. My kept them at bay. Kept me safe. Now they chase after me. They want my head. But, Signora... The countryside was supposed to be serene. Death follows me even here. Increase the patrols and warn me of any intruders. No one is allowed in the palazzo but my husband's private guard. You heard the Duquesa! Sound the alarm if an intruder is spotted! Poor Alfonso. His wife has gone mad. So I guess I'll... yeah, it's pointing me directly at the building to get inside. Granted, I could've just stayed up there and like went around the perimeter to get there, but, but whatever. Oh, there are guards. Don't mind me. Why is it taking away a camera control here? I don't understand. Why here? Like, we're, we were on the outside. But hey, it's kind of neat that we're in a super sneak mode mission. Oh no. Uh, oh, there's a hay bale there. I heard you, treasure chest. I was wondering why those guards weren't moving. And then I was answered by the game going, it's because you need to jump in that hay bale first. I guess it was just kind of a safety precaution. Uh... Oh. I didn't. <laughs> I almost didn't see that there. But I'm also a, a little scared to parkour around the guards because they look up a lot in... Assassin's Creed 2 and Brotherhood, it seems. What is the meaning of this? 
I am supposed to shine the Duchess's shoes. No one is allowed in the palazzo. Is she going to shine her own shoes then? <laughs> what the Duchessa does or does not do is of no concern to us. What a night this is. Let me tell you. I would rather you did not. I will complain to the Duke. As long as you are stuck on that side, no one will hear you. I have had enough. Stay where you are. Let me through! You must wait until the Duchessa He is so, like... I'm trying to think of the word, like, uh, he so wants to shine the Dutch's shoes. Yeah, the Dutch's shoes. Quit t taking control away from me, you bastards. I don't like it when it takes control of the camera away from me. I do like the level design for this section, so far at least. Game, game. Why is the game so fucking stupid sometimes when it comes to the free running? Why in the world would I jump there and not the grabbable fucking thing two fucking inches to the right? <laughs> this is what I mean by I wish there was a lock-on system for the parkour with like the left bumper that I can hold and release to tell the game, I want that. I want to parkour there. That is all that I want out of this, to parkour a specific place. Release and hold, all right. So that was my tutorial. I, I did not know that even existed for the most part. It's just, it says there, assassinate. But now that I do know that that is a function, is very nice. Because I doubt I can climb the hedges. Surely they won't care. I think that Duca has brought the guards from the Pope himself to watch over his palazzo. Julius has left Alfonso with several of his guards in return for siding with the Pope against <laughs> Ravenna. We shall see how long that alliance lasts. Treasure. I do not mind the level design for this area so far. Hopefully that's the end of the do not kill anyone section. Come to kill me at last, assassino. No, I just want to know where Buongiorno, the paintings are. Lucrezia. Or should I say, Duchessa. A borrowed title bestowed by my husband. Ill-fitting and barely concealing the truth. You can keep your life. Mission successful. For the art of <laughs> Mission successful. Redecorating, are we? I count five Leonardo da Vinci paintings you have stolen, and I want them returned. <laughs> if only it were that easy. My birthplace, my family have been taken from me. You think Ferrara loves me? I am a stranger, a castaway, an orphan. Your paintings are gone, assassino. Profound I believe you. Frightening, is it not? To have lost so much? Perhaps we can comfort each other. Sadly, Perhaps. no. I, really? Ezio? Where are the paintings? Sold to Francesco Colonna. And one to someone who really? was special to me. Patrizio. He spends his time near Il Vaticano. I kept one for myself. Give it to me. Guards! Place Da Vinci's Annunciation in a cart. Huh. Leave it outside the walls. And here I thought, okay. Interesting. Oh, bene. Now, close your eyes. My husband He's will gonna <laughs> lock her to guards, the curtain. So it is best if you... Hurry. Forgive me, Duquesa. What for? 
No man can heal your pain. You must do so on your own. Say hello to the Duca for me. Knew it. Guards! Guards! My favorite Discworld title. Handy sword. I love that the woman is just like, I see him. I'm going to call the guards on you because you didn't fuck me. And uh, it, it seemed like she was sincere. That's the craziest thing. She was sincere about it. Perfect. Now drop, you might fall. I feel like they repeated that, like they literally u reused that line from Assassin's Creed 2. But yeah, that's the most shocking part. She was freaking sincere. There's a game! Ah, I hate it when the game does shit like that. At least... The this wasn't a, hey, escape faster than this, like, level was intended for. Like the frickin' Romulus layers. Okay. And now we follow the road. Oh, and then we climb up, I say. Or, uh, no, no, we don't climb up, apparently. We're doing. We both yes and no on the climb up. But again, that's the craziest thing. She was sincere. And also, those guards worked fast. I wonder if they just were like... Out on their job is like, they're calling for the gods, but we already have an order. We need to place this painting into a cart. <laughs> Excuse me. And that was a nice... Mishkao. All right, we'll check. Well, actually, we don't need to check the bank. We can check our inventory. There's nothing at the bank. But we should have enough money to do the buy on that. We will hopefully run into the, like, uh, the coop. We'll buy the thing. And then... Then I think we'll do a main mission to close out the stream, because we've actually been going for a while. It is honestly surprising, like, just how fast Assassin's Creed can feel. If only because, uh, the diddly-dang... Bibbidi-bob, the diddly-dang glyphs can be annoying to find. But luckily, there's only, like, two of them left now. And we know where one of them is. So, in the future, it shouldn't take us too long to find and do them when those areas open up to us. Unless they are put on annoying places. Like, physically. But now, time to send our master assassins out to do things. After leveling them up. I still find it hilarious, the bombastic five billion alerts. Let's raise your weapons. And they're all getting guns now. Hilarious. It's hilarious that they're all getting guns now. Everyone gets at least tier three armor before being ready for anything else. All right, contract time. Is there anything big, big that give, like, items? This one is a school task. 
task tax. Elector Frederick Derwis uh, intends to construct a, a university in Wittenberg, one dedicated to religious reform. He, his teachers intend to question the practice of Rodrigo in his circle. Even now, the bourgeois prepare a bribe for Frederick and his colleagues to encourage them to back away from their foolish project. You will intercept that money and see that Frederick receives a healthy donation to his cause. All right. Ooh. Send a level three and a level five on that one. Or eh, I think that one might work better. And we get copper ore for this. Ooh. Nope, even with a full quote unquote full team. We're looking for any of the big spiky difficulties. Just to make sure those are relatively done. Does not seem to be. Steal a victory. Yeah, why not? Go and assassinate a captain. Yeah, now that that's opened up, that's a, just a really nice feature. Actually, managing a Brotherhood of Assassins. Again, kind of funny that the way I played the game, that the Brotherhood didn't enter until, like, super uh, we're getting angry. Never mind, they're just shocked by my appearance. I thought we were going to bump into each other, and they'd go, Die! <laughs> You dare scuffed my silk shirt. I shall now stain it with your blood. Just ever funny. How dare my legs not carry me far enough. I must amputate them and replace them with metal. I wish there was, again, I just, I wish that the game would recognize that that's not that big a fall, and that that kind of thing could have been done just by holding the, like, action trigger and the directional, like, uh, stick. Why in the world would I care about him? Apparently, the, the guards don't give a shit. And his body is now mine, crumpled up on itself. Oh, we definitely have the money to buy that one. That one building. You know, I just realized that... Despite the beggars making a return and the vigilantes, we haven't seen insane people on the streets. The insane people have not come onto the streets. Go ahead and buy that. Why not? Something to spend my money on now. Und with that out of the way, we shall now head, see if there's anything in the bank, see the shop quests, and then take on a mission. I purchased the Pantheon. Bow to me, Greek gods. But now we head out. To do more things. 
I do kind of like the secondary systems in this game, even if they are a bit of a, a time sink, ever so slightly. But I don't think they're terrible. I do wish that, like, uh, it was a bit more about the core assassining. And, like, that I wish that I could get a bit more armor. And again, the game is like, get, like, why would the Vambrace be sold this memory sequence when I can't even get the secondary, like, dual hidden blade? I don't understand. You need this dual hidden blade from Leonardo. Well, where the hell do I get it? Do I have to, like, super speed run the Leonardo DLC to get it? I doubt they do that, but at the same time, they got rid of the the jump. I also forgot that I don't need to do that anymore, and I can just, like, check I have so my boots. inventory to check the bank. I am a fool. Now, let's see. Shop quest. I have the totem, but I need another terracotta pot and a Buddhist prayer bead. Out of the way. I own this place. Out of the way. Shop quest. Still need that silver to come thingy. What about you? I need two more cell. Oh, <laughs> then again, I think these quests are meant to be a little bit of a time sink. Like, ah, they're a thing. But still, it's disappointing that I can't do them. Oh, I'm a dumb. I'm, I went to the wrong place. The quest is over there, dummy. kind of disappointed that there isn't really anything to do in the assassin's hideout seemingly <laughs> come on you can climb that Ezio you can climb climb Ezio climb with your big meaty hands You're already part fish. That should be nothing to you. Why, when we play Assassin's Creed Odyssey, it's gonna be like, ah, oh, yes. Poseidon went to wherever the Auditores originated. And it'll be a confirmation that Ezio Auditore is part fish. And that is why he can swim so well. I can fly! I believe I can fly! <laughs> okay, that was a funny glitch. Uh, horrifying that some courtesans are being murdered, but uh, uh, Ezio grew wings. He drank some red bill. Well, I guess we're gonna be waiting a moment. I guess this is the introduction of the interesting assassin missions. Which I kind of lose impact now that you can't play all these uh, characters that you're gonna be killing. In the multiplayer, because the multiplayer doesn't exist. Don't mind me, I'm just waiting for some of my recruits to get back. Don't mind me. This is a horrifying scene, but I need another assassin with me. Because it'll be a tutorial on how to use them. I jump for joy. This is my interpretive dance of your friend's life. As we wait for some of my assassins 
to come online as we wait for my sleeper agents to activate at the word banana bean. I already recruited all available assassin recruits, and then I just sent them all out on missions. Is there a way to, like, uh, see? I have so many things. Except for alum. Wish that I could, like, check on the missions from the pause menu. <laughs> But surely we had a mission going that hadn't uh, completed yet, and it's not all that far off from completing. Come on. Come on, assassin initiates. There we go. Who did this? That monster, Malfato! Did you He's see that, I guess. That way! Kill your target using the assassin recruits. Like, again, I miss the... I wish I had a better chance to experience the multiplayer. But, nope. I never got much of a chance to experience the multiplayer. I tried it a few times a few years ago on PC. But uh, I did run into a few issues with, like, a, like a connection glitch. That's like, ah, make this alteration to your router. Guild assassination. Kill him. Super speed Adam. Kill him hard. And then do I still get the Requiescat in Pace? Requiescat in Pace. I would have mained that guy in Brotherhood's multiplayer if, you know, the multiplayer existed. Again, I hope that there's some people who uh, will try to salvage the multiplayer some way. Like, I think it would be nice if it all possible. I don't think it'll be possible for... Like, more than likely, it won't be possible for, uh, like, Assassin's Creed uh, 3 because... Assassin's Creed 3 is a dwindling player base now. Because, uh... In Assassin's... Like, oh, oh, oh. Brains that go in about things. Simply put, Assassin's Creed 3 existed on PC, but then Assassin's Creed 3 was later removed from PC because... Assassin's Creed uh, ba, 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 3 Remastered came out, and that didn't have multiplayer. I'll go ahead and send out more dudes on missions, and then since that was quick, we'll do that other memory quickly, and it'll inevitably be a super duper long one. But, yeah. So, the multiplayer for Assassin's Creed 3 is probably lost, even if somebody could have like, uh, made a system to allow, like, uh, people to play together without Ubisoft. Unless people basically pirate it. Uh, uh, and I could see that happening. Somebody basically making a Assassin's Creed 3 multiplayer piracy bundle. To just, like, let people play Assassin's Creed 3's multiplayer together. Maybe. But I could see somebody making systems for Assassin's Creed Brotherhood and Assassin's Creed Revelations 
to uh, then be able to play the online without official Ubisoftness. Excuse me. Can I send you both so you can do that? And we won't send all of them this time. We've learned that mistake. We'll keep two bars worth of assassins on hand. At least for now. And now we'll go do that mission to close things out for the stream, since that was real quick and just kind of a tutorial on how to use your new minions. And again, it was such a cool detail that they used multiplayer models for unique assassination targets. But now it just feels kind of hurt, a hurting feeling, because now you can't play the Brotherhood multiplayer. And again, I hope somebody out there makes a system for Brotherhood, Revelations, and Black Flag. Well, I guess technically Black Flag's multiplayer is still on. Technically. But Ubisoft are assholes, so I could see them disabling the online for that sometime soon. For God's sakes, Ubisoft were already assholes by uh, disabling the multiplayer for... Brotherhood Revelations in 3, even though 3 was already kind of a sad uh, kind of waste because Remastered took over. But hopefully some of the other multiplayers get to live for a little bit longer or like activated by people in the in the fandom. Why do you cry? They're going to take my mama on the boat ride. They say I will go on the next one. Yeah. The man from the castle came with guards and arrested us. He scared me. They are scary. But you look very brave. Will you bring my mama back? I will. Kill your targets using the assassination recruits. Where did they take your mother? Down that street. Good. Do you have some place to go for now? My uncles. Go there. Do not stop to talk to anyone. Sabatine. Uh, Sabatini. <laughs> For some reason, that sounds like it would be the chipmunk parody of Sabaton. Sabatini. <laughs> like, imagine... What's the lead singer of Sabaton's name? I forget it right now. But just imagine him as a chipmunk. Like an Alvin and the Chipmunks chipmunk. I think that would be hilarious. His mother's gonna be dead, isn't she? Oh. I need to follow him to where he's keeping his slaves. Don't mind me. I am just conspicuously walking among these beggar types while wearing very, very ornate clothing. And armor. And a crossbow. And swords. Like, if, at least if I was among, like, the noble people, I would look slightly less out of place, but I would still look more heavily armored and armed than I otherwise probably you would expect me to be. And again, it's so cool that these guys, the multiplayer characters, are our targets, but it's just so disappointing that the multiplayer doesn't exist anymore. Once again, I repeat it because my brain runs on loops, but 
Uh, here's a hoping that... Here's a hoping that... People beyond Ubisoft make it possible to play the multiplayer someday again. You don't see anything, little man. There are no crowd groups to move with. We must ensure the kidnappings continue. A children, Silvestro. To secure. <laughs> but what? He just came out of nowhere! Like we a scat in pace. He literally just spawned in. That's hilarious. Good night, Draven from League of Legends without one hand. And they're just using guns liberally. Yes, I have taught you well. That is hilarious. But no, I have to go back up there because uh, I need to loot their bodies. I almost forgot. But that's hilarious. They just spawned in and they started using the guns. I don't think they expected me to have guns this early. For my recruits. Healing, wellness, leeches! Uh, dead bodies that I am looting. But yeah, that, uh, this is a whole tutorial on how to use the Brotherhood. And, uh, I already, uh, kind of skipped a lot of that. But that's hilarious. Contracts available. Contracts in progress. That's neat. Since that's a 100% you can go. Since the game wants me to tutorialize, I shall tutorialize. So maybe I should use my assassination children more often. Give me your horse on! But yeah, <laughs> that basically is like using a faction group much more efficiently. But okie dokie. Neat. But I do believe that that shall be it for now. Because we've been going for three hours. A lot of uh, a lot of it was kind of side content, me just wandering around. A lot of it was probably the glyphs. All honesty. Probably a lot of it was the glyphs. But, hey! No glitches this time! No... Uno reverse carding guards who say, no, I refuse to be countered. Just a few odd free-running moments, and uh, the puzzles of that one glyph cluster just being oh so annoying. I do not like it. I do not like it at all. But that's just my personal feelings towards those puzzles, mainly because it's just like, I don't know. They just feel wonky to me. But yes, but yes, I think that shall be it for now. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, you can catch up on streams of the past on my gameplay channel, Neon Icy Games. If you want to watch me stream these games live, you can also watch me on Twitch or Neon Icy Games, because I'm dual streaming now. Already on the Neon Icy Games archives are Undertale, Mass Effect, the Mass Effect Trilogy, 1, 2, and 3. Uh, Kirby and the Forgotten Land, just a lot of things. 
and then I'm trying to get into the flow to revive my main YouTube channel for just general reviews, thoughts, and things on media that I like or just am interested to talk about. Other than that, if you want to stay up to date on when I go live for these streams, you can follow me on Twitter where I send out a tweet saying, Hey, I'm going live! And then I delete it after the, the stream is done so as not to confuse people. Or you can check out my uh, Twitch channel's schedule tab. That is nice, and I try to keep it up to date as much as possible, so if you ever want to see ahead of time when I plan to go live, you can hit that up. If you want to see art from me, like my little avatar in the corner, you can follow me on Twitter, DeviantArt, Tumblr, and uh, uh, Newgrounds. All of them at Neon Icy Wings, except for Tumblr, which is Icy Wings Art Corner. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Hopefully without, uh, hopefully I won't start the stream with it crashing like <laughs> this time did. But yes, thank you very much for watching, I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye.